don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. Just this is the Canon EOS Rebel T7. First off, huge thank you to my sister for letting me borrow her camera for stream upgrade and content upgrade. But I plan on getting a dummy battery and a cam link for this so I can start using it for streams. I also plan on filming some TikToks and unboxings with this camera. It'll be a lot higher quality than my phone, so I can't wait to start using this. So let me know down in the comments below who's hyped for the quality upgrade. Our most frequently asked question is what's a good starter camera? We always recommend the Canon Rebel T7i. It's great quality, comes with a kit lens, and affordable at about $800. Hey photography friends, I've got a question for you please. If you look under the word zoom, and I'm going to try to get this in focus for you, there is a mark on my lens there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, I've wiped over it with a microfiber cloth, it doesn't feel like a scratch, I haven't knocked it against anything, I'm always cautious to put the lens cap back on it when I'm done using it or even in between shots if I'm outside. I haven't really taken it out too much in the snow. Um, so I'm not sure if maybe it's a watermark, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I would really appreciate it if you could do it. Stitch, tag a photographer below. Uh, I, I really just don't want to ruin this pretty much brand new camera. I've had it less than a month. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody. Appreciate it. Streamer tips. So I recently upgraded from a webcam to a DSLR camera. I want to walk you guys through how to set up a DSLR on your stream. DSLR cameras offer higher quality, a better depth of field, as well as can record in much better resolutions than webcams. At least typically. When you set up a DSLR camera for your stream, you're going to need three things. One, the camera. Two, you're going to need an AC adapter to plug from the wall to the camera. That way you're not relying on battery power. Three, you're going to need a way to connect the camera to your computer. The most common way to connect a camera to your computer is using an Elgato Cam Link. The only problem with the Elgato Cam Link is the list of cameras they have that are compatible with it is really small, and a lot of them are very expensive. Some DSLR setups can cost upwards of six, eight, over a thousand dollars. But mine was 350. That's because Canon actually has their own webcam utility for their cameras. So I also don't have to spend 120 bucks on a Cam Link. Just plug a USB cord into the camera, run it to your computer, and install the utility. Literally right after pooping. This is such a great question, and I wrote an entire blog post on it because I got really motivated and it was such a good question. So the short answer is the Canon Rebel T7i and the Canon 50mm 1.8, but go read the blog post. So with the new camera, there were a few more things that we needed to get for this to work on my stream. We got a 32 gig SD card. Now I already have one of these, but it's currently sitting inside of my GoPro, and I'm still planning to make that work for my stream, but for my new camera, I needed a new one. Second, we got a dummy battery. If you don't know what a dummy battery is, let me explain. A dummy battery provides constant power to the camera, so when I'm live streaming, it will never die on stream. One hand unboxings. First we have the power cable, then we have the dummy battery itself, and this plugs into here, and then I'm going to plug this into my power strip under my desk. So now all we gotta do is take the old webcam out and replace it with the new camera. I get this question a lot about what camera I started with or what you recommend, and I wanna answer for you guys. First off, I start off with a Canon T5i, and I start with the kit lens, like the zoom kit lens, you know what I mean? Like the f4.5 and like the variable ones. I started with that. And I did throughout high school soccer photos. So I did soccer, sports photography, kind of from junior year to senior year with that camera. So let me show you guys what I did. This is T5i, T5i as well, and then T5i as well. So you can do a lot of things with kit lenses and starter cameras. That's not a big issue. I recommend doing a DSLR. Just a star DSLR to get you with the ropes of manual settings and how sports work and action and all that fun stuff. I hope this helps someone. If it doesn't, I'm really sorry. I'm not a pro, but I'm just experienced in some things, but I hope I helped. Here's everything in my setup. Camera edition.
So for my main camera, I'm currently using a Canon EOS Rebel T7i and I love this camera because it gives better quality than a webcam and Canon released a new software that allows me to use the camera as a webcam without a cam link. For my secondary camera, I'm currently using the Logitech C920. This is a very popular webcam and a lot of streamers use it. This is what it looks like when I use them together.